Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial and today we're going to look at poking holes in objects in Illustrator and we're going to do this in the appearance panel. So I have a document open here. I'm going to create a filled shape. So I'm going to select a sort of red color and I'm going to turn the stroke off for now. I'm going to make my shape a circle. So I'm going to hold down the shift key as I drag out a circular shape. Now let's go to the Appearance panel. We can get to that by choosing Window and then Appearance. Now I'm going to create a second fill here that's going to be identical to the first in shape, but it's going to be a bit smaller. So with the Shape Select, I'm going to click here on Fill, and I'm going to change the color of this just so that we can see what it's looking like. So I'm going to make a blue fill. And I'm going to decrease the size of it. So with this fill selected, I'm going to choose Effect, and I'll choose Path, Offset Path. Now the default for offset path is to actually increase the size of the path, but I want to bring mine in, so I'm going to use a negative value. So I'm just going to decrease it in size. What I'm looking to do is to poke a hole in this circular shape using this blue shape as the hole. So that's the size hole I want, so I'll click OK. Now there's an option in Illustrator for creating knockouts or holes in things, and this is how it works. The first thing you have to do is go to the fill that you want to use as the knockout, the hole if you like, and you have to set its opacity to zero. So it has to have something filled in it, but it has to have an opacity at zero. And then this opacity down here, which is the opacity of the entire shape, not just the opacity of a fill or a stroke. You can see that strokes and fills all have their own opacity setting. Well, there's an overall opacity setting for the whole shape, and it's this one here at the bottom. And what you're going to do is click here on Knockout until you get a little check mark here. And what that's doing is poking a hole in this shape, which is the exact same shape as any fill or any stroke that actually has something in it. So this fill has something in it. This one doesn't. The stroke doesn't have a fill, but it has to have a fill, and the fill of that opacity has to be zero. So you can do some really interesting things with this. So let's go now and let's create another circle. I'm going to press D because this has inherited the exact same settings as the previous one, but I want this one to be totally, totally different. So let's go and make it a green filled circle and I'm going to have a stroke on it and I want my stroke to be a different color. So I'm going to make it this lighter green and I'm going to make the stroke quite big. Now you can see that the stroke is eating into the shape here. Well, I don't want it to be on the inside. I want it to be centered. So I'm going to click here on Stroke, and I'm going to align the stroke to the center. I'm also going to make this stroke a circle. So I'm going to click here on Dash Line, and I want circular shapes. So I'm going to set my dash to zero, and I'm going to set my gap to about the same amount as the weight of the line. So I'm going to set it to, say, 40 to start off with and we're going to make round caps. And that just gives me round dots. So I'm going to increase my gap width a little bit. That looks pretty good to me. I'm now going to move this stroke line underneath the circular shape itself. So we've created a sort of scallop. But what I want to do is I want to poke holes in the dots around here, the dots that are creating the scallop. So I'm going to make a duplicate of this stroke, and I do that by targeting the stroke and just clicking the new icon, and that makes a duplicate. Now I'm going to set this to white filled, just so it's going to be easy to see in a minute. Then I'm going to start reducing the actual physical size of the dots. But what I've done is I've left all the other values intact. So I've left the zero dash and the 46 gap. So these white dots are going to be centered immediately over the top of the previous circles. So I'm going to continue to bring this down in size. And I think that's looking pretty good to create a sort of lacy edge. Now, this stroke, of course, can be any color at all. We could make it pink, so you can see little pink dots there. The idea is that we're going to poke holes in the green circles using the pink dots. So again, exactly as we did previously, we're going to set the opacity of this stroke to zero. So we're going to the opacity, we're going to set the 
opacity setting to exactly zero. Now we'll go to the opacity setting for the entire shape. We're going to double click on knockout until we get this check mark. And now we've got a knockout. So let's just go and prove that these are knockouts. I'm going to drag over both of these shapes. I'm going to just put a filled black rectangle over the top and let's move it to the very back of everything and this is proving to us that what we've created is knockouts this wasn't a white filled center it's actually a hole in the center of this shape and the hole is just a hole we can see through it and here is a hole here and it's created using two series of dots one of which we are keeping the outside of and the other one that we're using as this knockout. Now this is a really handy technique to get a grip on in Illustrator. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned something about Illustrator of which you were previously unaware. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and we'll alert you when new videos are released. And if you want to get notifications, click that notification bell. My name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.